guys from Young Good Health TV and uh, today we're going to show you how to actually make almond milk because almond milk is just a fantastic substitute for, for dairy and you can use it in all sorts of fabulous recipes and I have here Christine Matheson, author of the renowned Cancer to Wellness uh, manual and so she's going to sh show and demonstrate how we actually use this in so many of the recipes especially when you're creating um, recipes to help you recover from cancer because you can't go and, and, and you know dive into the dairy or any of the other processed um, beverages that actually are so very unhealthy and are high full of sugar, isn't that right? That's correct. And you know, one of the things too about making your own almond milk, I know it saves an absolute fortune because you know, to buy a carton of almond milk, it's Absolutely. about eight dollars. You know, whereas it, I worked out the other day, it cost me about two dollars fifty to make my own almond milk for to have you know, a container equivalent to what you buy in a container uh, plus that you, you buy from the stores. And plus you have control of what's okay. in it and it's not heated. Yes. One of the things that they're probably under um, the, the, the direction of through, through mm -hmm. the TGA or through the government bodies was the fact that when they give out products, they heat them. Yes. And uh, which takes away all the nutrients. Now what, what I've done is I've actually soaked a cup of almonds and as you can see it looks more than a cup because it expands and you wash and then you wash the almonds as well so you, you just soak them overnight and throw them in a high speed processor and use organic almonds where yes, you can yes organic yes that's and right and there's three cups of milk sorry three cups of water in there yes. okay this is so easy to do put your lid on done. So this is a nut bag. You can use a sieve but these are so cheap, go buy one. It's crazy if you don't. So we put the nut bag over, whoops, over my little plastic container here. This is just a nice size for, my, for what I do. And you take off the lid, put that aside, and you throw your milk into here. Okay. And you actually strain it through the bag. And what else, what I do with the pulp after I use this, nothing gets wasted. I actually use it in making vegetarian uh, patties. So I actually, because I had always had this over, and you can use it for sweets as well, you know, yeah. sort of your dessert bases. Making biscuits, but, and biscuits and stuff. But you know, I was always, because I make this regularly, I always had this over and I thought, well, so I had to devise an almond meal Is it in your burger. Book? Yeah, it's in my recipe book. It's yes, not in my book. main book, but so you have to buy my recipe book eventually. Um, but uh, at the moment, um, we have the recipe book as a freebie. Did you know that going? My, it's only oh, a small really? version That's of the great. recipe book, yeah. Yeah. And, um, I'd love to offer it to people watching this. Yeah, it's uh, if you buy the e-book, if you can't access, like if you live in America or something like that at the moment where the book isn't, um, you can actually buy um, the e-book. And I'm giving away a, a recipe book as well with it. It's not the full recipe book, as I said, it's just a mini recipe yeah, book sure. just to give people. So everybody was asking me for more recipes. I have quite a few of them in my main book, mm -hmm. but this was just a little additive. So here, now, I've just got to have a bit of strong hands here. I make this almond milk quite regularly and I use it in a lot of my tea tonic uh, beverages that helps to improve your adaptability to stress. So this is also great for use as a winter chai drink. You can make a lot of chai, um, chai oh, yes, healing yes. chai and you use almond milk. It's better than using normal milk or soy milk or any of that. You certainly don't want to get into soy if you've got cancer in any way. And you know, it creams up too, you know, like I like yeah. to. I um, actually have um, used Ganoderma mushroom and I have a, a Ganoderma type of coffee. Yes. And so, even though, you know, it is heating the milk, 
but I like to have one a day. And with almond milk, it tastes amazing. Oh, it does. And yeah, Ganoderma, which is the same as reishi, uh, it's fantastic uh, adaptogenic herb. One of the Chinese herbs uh, that they use for longevity and it's also called the immortality herb. I'm going to rinse this off now and then we're going to do, show you how to do a sweet almond. Yeah, Pretty. fantastic. Okay. Now, I've bottled my almond milk and I'm just going to put that in the fridge normally. But today I want to show you how you can actually make a sweet almond milk and make it in a fancy glass. So what I do is I put a little bit of almond milk in here. Normally it would be chilled. A little bit of organic vanilla essence. I love vanilla. And just put a little cap full. Yeah. And to give it a sweet flavour, so that we're sticking to the raw foods and etc. and not putting anything in our body that's going to harm us. So if you're craving sweets, this is the drink. This is the drink. So I'm putting some pitted almonds and the medjool almonds, uh, uh, not almonds, sorry, dates. Dates, dates. Dates, goodness me, medjool dates are the best ones, okay? So I've actually pitted those and I'm going to put, put the food that back on the, on top of the base again. And we're going to mix that up. Nicely blended. We pop that into a nice glass mm. and stick a vanilla stick on the side. Voila! A cocktail. That's beautiful. That's mm. going to be enough to, to satisfy anyone's appetite. Yeah, so that is really good because sometimes, too, when you're on the cancer programs and you're trying to um, detoxify your body, your, your, uh, particularly in the beginning, you sometimes may even get a headache from detoxing. These are great drinks to have, especially in the evening if you're not feeling like that broth. Like I have a broth recipe that I put people on mm -hmm. in the evening, and if they don't feel like that and they're a little bit headachy through the detoxification, this is a great way to stop yeah, it. Yeah, and you don't feel mm. like you're depriving yourself. Of you're not that exactly. It tastes divine. So uh, yes, really, you can get sucked into this and feel like you're really treating yourself to a great luxury, as mm. well as being extremely healthy for you. Exactly. Yes. Yes. So great. So yes. thank you for watching. This is Dr. Young Price and Christine Matson. Yes. Yeah, see you next time. See you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye bye.